Staying with the legislature, lawmakers in the six geopolitical zones have been urged to ensure that the ongoing proposed amendments are done in the interest of Nigeria and not personal interest. The Deputy Senate President Ovie Omagege and the Deputy Speaker Idris Wase, who is also the Chairman of the Constitution Review Committee, today gave the admonition of the retreat organized towards the review of the 1999 Constitution by the Joint Ad Hoc Committee of the National Assembly and members of the Conference of Speakers. Imanel Hichne's report is presented from our studios. While commending the parliamentarians for their dedication and sacrifices in the review exercise, Senator Omwagege said the success of the process is hinged on their cooperation and partnership. Adding that the lawmakers would have written their names in gold at the time the National Assembly would pass the proposal in a fortnight. Adults predicated on the need to, amongst others, strengthen the legislature's authority to enable it to serve as an effective pillar of checks and balances to the executive, strengthen independent constitutional bodies, create and strengthen a culture of good governance, address the issues of corruption, revenue leakages, and unbridled government spending. I know it is a desire of every Nigerian that this process will bring positive transformation to our country. Therefore, we should all leverage this retreat to bequeath to our nation a constitution that speaks to the yearnings and aspirations of every Nigerian. On his part, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Ahmed Idris, said the Constitution Review Committee aggregated views canvassed by Nigerians during the public hearings between May and June last year. He reminded the lawmakers of the need to put Nigeria first in the course of its assignment. These thematic areas include issues burden on local government administration autonomy, the legislature, judiciary reforms, state creation, state police, devolution of powers, women and vulnerable groups, strengthening of institutions, good governance, political parties and electoral matters, traditional institutions, fair capital territory administration, fundamental human rights and national security. Representatives of the Conference of Speakers of State Legislatures in the country, Abubakar Sulaiman, thank stakeholders for their efforts so far, promising Nigerians to expect a constitution that would stand the test of time. 